dear YouTubers. It's been a while since I posted any videos, but I've been busy, you know. Uh, I do have a little bit of upgrade. I would like to show you something. I'm going to be installing a new roof rack on my new vehicle, and I hope it really helps you. Because I was looking to buy these aftermarket, I couldn't find them. I had to buy these from a Toyota dealership. Um, so let's start with this review. First of all, uh, this is the 2019 Toyota RAV4 XLE model and uh, there's not much videos of how to install accessories on this vehicle but let me show you um, I need a roof rack so these crossbar these are roof rails it has this like a little opening like a little plastic window you're gonna pop this over here and then all four corners we're gonna attach uh, roof uh, crossbars to this vehicle and uh, I, I purchased these uh, uh, crossbars at the Toyota dealership and it was uh, this is the Bomarino Bomarito Toyota original part number PT 2784192 so let's go ahead and open the box okay let's open the box and see what that comes with so got two crossbars all the attachment points has the all the tools you need to attach this and you have the bolts and washers and a little manual here we have a little gasket where's the second one looks like only one okay so here you have two left covers, two front crossbars, uh, I mean one rear crossbar, hardware, and two right hand covers. And also there's a little uh, printout, tells you about this part number PT2784292, it's for only for 2019 Toyota RAV4, and uh, I don't think other models work. Um, I tried to find maybe from Highlander or from other Toyotas, but it doesn't work. So first thing I gotta do, I gotta pop these uh, little uh, things right here. So. It comes out very easy, you don't have to put much strength into it. So we're gonna bolt it on here to the to the vehicle. So I'm gonna pop all every single corner. It should be very easy. Yeah, these uh, pieces they come off pretty easy. Just don't use too much force. They just nicely pops out, and uh, yeah, very cool. So on the front here, on the passenger side, this is how, how it looks like. On the inside, on the rear. And uh, now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the manual. And the manual, it says, see like we did, pop this, boom, front of the vehicle, rear of the vehicle, all the sides. Shows you how to mount it. Shows you how to put the washer in and how to put the bolt everything it even tells you torque specs and this kit installation kit comes with a little torque wrench this is a little torque wrench so when you torque them there's even specification 12 nm 12 newtons so this arrow is going to be in the in this little window when you tighten the bolts anyway so we got four bolts, one, two, three, four, and it's like lock keys, one, two, and uh, okay, so each of these panels, these plastic panels, they have a, a direction, it says forward, and it says, let's see, Okay, see this lettering 
right hand front so it's gonna go on this side it's gonna be here so that's nice uh, these roof racks also rated for 160 pounds loading capacity so that's more than enough for my needs see and it says right here maximum loading 160 pounds total evenly distributed 80 pounds per crossbar so I have a kayak it's about 75 pounds so I'm gonna it's more than enough strength for me um, so let's get installed this baby um, so I took these uh, crossbars from the out of the box and I'll show you it feels pretty solid made from uh, metal like of course it's tough metal or aluminum uh, very solid I like the connection points right here this is where we're gonna bolt it here I'm gonna put bolts through here and then the uh, key to uh, lock it it's gonna go through here and then we're gonna put a plastic piece over here yeah they feel very solid um, very solid nice this this moves a little bit and it can be adjusted these are the screws I don't know why is it loose like this, but that's okay. I can adjust this. Um, let's see how this one feels. Uh, also, um, see there's a gasket, this rubber gasket. It's, it's very important if this part is here or not. You don't want this to be missing. This one also has a rubber gasket. So this side also has a rubber gasket. And this side has a rubber gasket. And you see there's an arrow, it says directions, which way to uh, point it, it says right hand front, right hand, fr right hand front, and then right hand rear, so it's going to mount on a vehicle like this, right, right hand, yeah, like this, and this one's going to go like that, okay. As you see it says right hand rear it goes on the back like this like this this way see it says right hand rear arrow pointing that way and now you align it make sure it sits properly so this the, this side went in nicely and you see over here there's also a sign right hand rear an arrow pointed to uh, this direction okay so this sets in okay make sure the rubber piece that's over here it's all around it's all in the groove let's go to the other side now all right now here what we got Okay, I feel it's sitting in place. Okay, good. This is installed. And then there's that hole for the bolt. So it sits nice. I'm just gonna secure it. Now let's do the same thing for the front. Make sure you got a rubber piece all around here. Very important. And let's install this one. Say right hand front, so that means this one will be left hand front and you see the arrow also pointing so let's see what happens okay this one went in easy you don't need to put any pressure or anything it's, it's it goes very easy in into place and you'll feel it it just drops in that place you got a little stool <laughs> helps a lot you want to see how to install it you have to have a little stool step stool um, okay all right see it goes right into place there no force required goes right into place I feel very nice, like very nice and wide. 
Uh, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna put that washer, the bolt, secure it, proper uh, torque. And then there's gonna be this plastic piece that's gonna cover here and then locking mechanism. So let's get to that. I really need that roof racks because I um, carried that kayak with me and but you know now I have now this vehicle has a sunroof and so when you open the sunroof you're gonna see this thing. <laughs> well it's okay. Alright, let's get to the other part. It looks pretty neat actually. It's my temporary license plate from Nebraska. Alright, so what else? Let's get this little tool. This is like a little torque wrench so when you apply torque I mean when you tighten it this little play this little window is gonna the arrow is gonna show up there so when you tighten it you know all right let's get to these plastic pieces this one it says forward and left front so it's gonna go on that side but I don't need that now. I need to secure the bolt. Where are the bolts? All right, here are the bolts. And again, part number are here: 42, 2013, C500, 1647, 4195. If you need parts, just call Toyota. They'll ship it to you. All right. This important. Do not install this washer upside down. It has to go like this. It even says in the manual here. Let's see see up this is not correct and this is correct so let's do this so here's what I do take this washer drop it in there and then you take your bolt and then you just Drop it in there. That's why I did on each side. Then we're gonna use this tool to tighten it. Uh, and before you tighten it, I suggest look all over these rubber uh, uh, gaskets and make sure they're all nicely positioned. That none of it is kinked on the on the bottom. And uh, then we're gonna secure each bolt. Goes nice and easy. There's no force applied, nothing. Goes nice and easy into the frame. So let's start from this one. It's a nice little tool that Toyota gives you, you know. You don't need any special tools, everything is included in the package. And you just tighten it this all the way to the end until it feels snug enough. And then you'll see in the window this little arrow. If it's like this, then it means I mean, this arrow is supposed to come up. That means it's tight enough. I mean if you have a torque wrench, you can torque it by the to the specification. But uh, you don't need it. And what's see this bolt has like a little star shape inside here I'm not a big fan of it you can put a socket and a wrench and just tighten it enough but my neighbor my neighbor always ruins my videos she walking by and I have to say something very noisy keep going keep going keep going well, anyway, you, you got the point. Secure each side. Everything goes smooth, everything is easy. This process took me about five minutes. <laughs> Install the roof crossbars. And even the basic models, like LE models, they have this. That's what the dealer told me. Like I've seen a, um, on LE models, they also have these uh, we call it rails rails so you can uh, install this on any model of RAV4 so that's very nice okay so now I want you to pay attention now it's getting tight 
see this little thing the arrow comes up that means it's tight enough so don't tight anymore very neat tool they include in your kit installation kit you know not to over tighten the the bolts so all the bolts are secured all around and all four corners now you gotta take these plastic pieces and it says forward right and then you see left hand rear so this would be left hand rear forward right and goes like this and then also there's this key this little key and we gotta manipulate it and then like lock it in place so see this little thing it has to be even with this hole right here and then we can lock it so let's do that well I wish this was a instead of plastic mechanism locking mechanism I wish there was more like a metal mechanism and it was a real key instead of this plastic little nimble but uh, it's okay I mean I don't think that that many people are gonna be walking around and trying to steal roof roof crossbars you know but uh, my other universal roof racks that I had in my other car I actually had a key like physical key and the metal mechanism that locks but this is like plastic so and then goes inside here and that's how I keep it secured <laughs> oh. so this left rear hand side on the driver's side is done it's nice once you uh, lock it in place make sure you turn the key to the lock position and that's it looks pretty neat and now I'm gonna move on to this front one so just a little quick tip before you install this make sure this little key mechanism is like this in the middle and you see on this side it's like open the lock is open right make sure it's like this and uh, right hand front which is passenger right hand um, before you install it there's like little plastic tubes you see little and then holes I line them and see it has to sit inside that hole so now this and then push it on top and that's it locked all you need is the plastic key now and turn it to a lock position locked and that's it very easy man it looks so cool and I have one more left so let's do this one together this little key is in the middle as you see it's open and uh, align these uh, tubes here you call it align this with the holes you feel that it sits in one side see and that's it push it on top sit and lock it of course use your key to lock it awesome we installed the crossbars 2019 Toyota RAV4 crossbars are installed looks very neat and it feels strong see the whole car is moving nice solid I have to find these for my Toyota Ralph, uh, Toyota Venza that I have. They also have crossbars like this. So, my dear YouTubers, this is how you install uh, crossbars on 2019 Toyota Ralph 4. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, if you want to see more about this vehicle, send me some comments and I will review the vehicle more in details. But uh, so far, it's been awesome super good on gas and uh next thing i'm gonna install it's gonna be the the uh tow hitch
gonna go on the bottom. They already sell it, the accessory, for about, I don't know, like 220 bucks. But the crossbars, the crossbars cost me 174 bucks. And uh, most of the dealers, they want, most of the dealers, they want 218, 215, not including shipping. I got this with shipping for 174. No, 174 plus shipping, it was like 192. And this is the, uh, again, this is the part number. PT 278 42192 Toyota Motors, your original one, you see, for Genium, Genium parts. <laughs> And this is the dealer where I bought the crossbars. I did not buy my vehicle from here. This is the just the crossbars. Bomarito Toyota 9095 down road Hazelwood. So and that's how cookie crumbles my friends. Alright, till the next time. See you guys later. Thanks for watching this video and I hope it helps you.